Okay, this is September the 25th, 2009, day before my wife's birthday. Happy birthday, Angela, if you see this. Um, we didn't get as much done this week as I, I'd hoped, but we did get the front end clip on, as you can see, finally. Um, we're still trying to work slow right now. we still got a lot of first-year students who just started this program and still trying to get them uh, uh, situated and all. So, uh, but we've got the fender wells in. We haven't got everything like you can see back here underneath the ECU. There's a cruise control, uh, uh, well, I can't, that servo, I guess, needs to go. Uh, and there's a couple of holes in the fender well for it. We've done got the vacuum and power steering reservoir uh, uh, mounted down. We haven't got the air cleaner in there yet, so that area right in there will be filled. Um, we're still trying to get the getting the uh, plug wires, uh, or not just plug wires, all the wires, better situated, so it'll look not like a spaghetti mess. Uh, still got to put the radiator in. Uh, we have got the the coolant reservoir and one of the underhood fuse box uh, mounted in there. But as you can see, overall, we have a lot more room to work with now. So I think after we get all these components mounted in there next week, uh, we can organize these wires and lines better, and we will have a lot better looking uh, uh, place under the hood. Uh, after we get our cruise control mounted in here, this area right in here, in the corner of the engine bay, I think is where I'm going to mount the uh, ECU, and I may like put a, a shield maybe somewhere between this and so that so much of the engine heat won't uh, spill over to it. Uh, there was a fellow the other day that said that don't insulate it, that it could overheat, and he's right. I didn't even think about that. I was so worried about the the engine heat that's in this uh, engine bay that I didn't even think that the, the ECU yourself is a computer, so it does generate heat, uh, and you don't want those things to get too hot. But I figured if I do that, that area won't get any hotter than where it was originally in the Crown Vic, which was inside a dash, and you think about how hot a dash gets on a, a hot summer day, especially here in Alabama. So um, I think maybe it'll be okay. Let's cross our fingers and hope. Uh, but that's about it of progress on the truck this week. Uh, hopefully next week we'll have everything together. I think if things go smoothly, I've got a friend running up to Chattanooga, Tennessee for me, uh, and he knows of a good place that makes drive shafts. We'll get the drive shaft made. And if everything goes well, the thing may actually be moving on its own power by the end of next week. Let's hope so. I'll sign off till then. Thanks.